Tomosynthesis is used to enhance mammography in order to create a three-dimensional image of the breast tissue for better examination and early detection. Dr. Johnson Lightfoot of Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center explains this new imaging technique. Digital breast tomosynthesis is a technology that was first developed around 2006 and it is a method by which we can reduce superimposition in the breast. One problem that we have in imaging breasts or really with any radiographic technique such as mammography is superimposition. What tomosynthesis really addresses is the problem that we as radiologists have with a mimic and a mask. By superimposing shadows, those shadows can mimic something that's important and can obscure or mask something that's not. And tomosynthesis allows us to separate those two shadows in two different planes and we can look at them separately and separate the mask and the mimic. It seems that digital breast tomosynthesis will improve the detection of breast cancer by about 7, 10, perhaps 15 percent. That is, it increases our cancer detection rate by about that much. And so we do expect that we'll find a few more breast cancers, 7, 10 percent more, than we would have found using regular digital mammography, which was the antecedent of breast tomosynthesis. Another important benefit of tomosynthesis is that it reduces what we call mammographic callbacks. All women out there have had the experience of having a mammogram and two shadows are superimposed that give us as a radiologist the illusion that there is something there when in fact there is not. But we have to call the lady back because we don't want to miss a breast cancer. When we call her back that results in anxiety, expense, additional radiation exposure, exposure, and perhaps may even go to a biopsy simply to prove that something is merely an illusion and tomosynthesis helps us work that out. Here on the order 30 to 40 percent of callbacks may be eliminated by tomosynthesis based on research that was submitted to the FDA prior to its approval in February 2011. The initial studies on breast tomosynthesis were done on a wide variety of patients. Women differ in their breasts, primarily uh, if we look at how dense the breasts are, that is how much glandular tissue as opposed to fatty tissue. The initial thinking was that women with fatty breasts or breasts that are very heterogeneous, uh, intensely mixed fat and glandular tissue would benefit the most because these are women who have these shadows that not only can obscure a breast cancer but can overlap and give the mimic of a breast cancer. It seems that women with heterogeneous breasts and dense breasts are the ones that benefit the most from tomosynthesis. However, it's also clear from more recent research that even women with fatty breasts or women with scattered densities in their breasts benefit from tomosynthesis as well. The greater benefit is achieved by women who have dense breasts, heterogeneous breasts. These tend to be women who are younger. In imaging, and in breast imaging in particular, we've been a substantial beneficiary of technological advances that have occurred over the 40 years of my practice. Digital tomosynthesis is not your mother's mammogram anymore. This is a substantially stronger technology. It's different from what your mother, my mother, would have benefited from. And it's a result of technological improvements that we've been able to incorporate into practice.